Coxmoor Golf Club is obviously a Heathland golf course with quite rolling terrain. We've recently undertaken a Heathland restoration programme and bunker upgrade. We recently had a new clubhouse over the last two years. So Coxmoor is going from quite a stood still golf course to somewhere that's progressing now. We are obviously actively looking to get higher up of a bigger profile of the golf club. So moving forwards, we are attracting more interest. Hi, my name is Ben Cumberland. I've been head greenkeeper at Coxmoor for almost seven years now. Been a playing member here for 27 years. Our relationship with Bernard's has been quite strong for the first seven years that I've been at Coxmoor. Scott was quite helpful in our first year, coming in, doing a few demos, talking about packages and the way that we could put the machines into the golf club to save the club money long term. With them being quite a small company, it's quite intimate and obviously the relationship that you get with the guys and Scott obviously being quite local to the area, it's nice that it's very handy to come in if anything changes, we need to look at anything. And it gives us that peace of mind that somebody's always at the end of the phone if you need them or just a simple and passing, do you want a cup of coffee? And they come in, just have a look, check the grinders over. And we've never ever had a problem with the grinders. Anything that needs updating, it's been done very quickly and efficiently. And for us, we wouldn't be without them now. The amount of heads that we've got, 47 heads at present, and obviously grinding twice a year on a regular basis. To actually be able to grind an extra grind, maybe two or three times if required on the greens in particular. Turf health, a perfect cut for clip is obviously paramount. A teared leaf is obviously open to disease, which then long-term costs you more money in fungicides. And obviously moving down the line, we want to move away from fungicides with the way that the, the country is going and obviously the products are moving now. From the onset of Coxmoor, obviously seven years ago when I started, we took quite a heavy machinery replacement programme out, which is continuously changing. We are very fortunate to be very well supported by the golf club. Anything that we need, we do mostly get what we need and we put a good business case forward. It's the same thing with the grinders and moving down the line to the mowing machinery, even the tractors and the diggers, the, the, the forestry work that we do on the golf course and the construction, everything, the machines are an asset to us and it, all it does is speeds us up for jobs. year-round grinding for Coxmoor Golf Club is perfect. We, for example, today, every day where there's not a lot of under the competition for the ladies, we'll grind the greens units this afternoon, which is a perfect opportunity to grind as and when required. We very often have competitions on throughout this year. We are a very busy golf club. So to grind in an afternoon and turn the units around in a matter of hours on the greens mowers, tees mowers, some days even the fairway mowers in the same day, it's advantageous because you've got no downtime from previous experiences of sending units away and waiting days for them to come back. It's nice that the whole team can get involved on a competition day, greasing of machinery, sharpening machinery, and then they turn around straight away, you know, we're turning machines around in literally an hour. Scott was quite particular himself on two guys being trained, one on each machine, which I think for a Bernard's point of view was quite good because we were very in depth with each machine. The setup of the machinery is quite a intricate job. We do keep records of obviously every single unit that is different. All the settings are all kept on boards within the shed around the grinders so everybody knows what the settings are for each unit. And that's something that you learn through obviously the representatives of Bernard's coming in and showing you how to set the machines up, working with you for the first couple of times of grinding to build confidence. Yeah, the multiple benefits of using the grinders and obviously checking with the Bernard's paper um, for the sharpness of the units every day. We are very on point with when the units need to be sharpened and altered or put on cut, which is obviously checked on a regular basis daily for every time the mowers go out. We do look to obviously present the best surfaces day in, day out at Coxmoor. So for us, moving forward with Bernard's, we'll stick with them now. And whenever an upgrade comes around and the club are in a position to do that, we will look at extending the fleet. But at the moment, the grinders that we've got have served us very good for seven years.